Jennifer, an intimate and touching show wins over audiences and critics on Broadway, and now the Covedale Center for the Performing Arts has brought the romantic comedy She Loves Me to Cincinnati. Joining me this morning to talk about it, director Matthew Wilson and actress Erin Donahue to tell us about the play. Thanks for coming in, you guys. Thanks for having us. You yeah. bet. So give us an overview. Uh, you told me that this is a play that was written by the same pair that did Fiddler on the Roof, but mm -hmm. a very different production. Yes. Um, if anyone has seen the film Shop Around the Corner with Jimmy Stewart okay. or the more modern sure. take on that, Tom, You've Got Mail right, with Tom mail. Hanks and Meg Ryan. Absolutely. It is the same story um, about a um, young lady and a young man who don't like each other in person, <laughs> but oh, unknowingly okay. are pen pals and in love with each other. Sure. And, um, via mail, which, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, we used to call it <laughs> mail. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> From uh, that, that movie. Uh, well, that sounds great. And so there's uh, got to be, a, you, do you have a, like, the, is the stage split in two parts or do you work it somehow? It was interesting to see in that movie how they, they both had their own space that they'd go back and forth from and they never entered and, you know, until later. There is a sequence where they, um, are reading and writing letters that's done in a very theatrical mm -hmm. way. Um, but no, it's, 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 it's about people being right next to each other and not realizing that they're right next to each other. Sure. So there's no real need to have two different worlds on the stage because they are in the same world. It's almost got a little taste of when Harry met Sally, another Meg mm -hmm. Ryan. Yeah, I yeah. The other day, I was thinking <laughs> the you same thing. You've got to summon your Meg Ryan, yeah. but at the same time you're singing. We don't have music in that movie, but we do in this play. What's that like? There's a lot of singing in the show, and it's beautiful music. It's really great, like classical, like classic music, musical theater kind of music. Sure. But it's great. The music, I think, fits the show really well, and everybody has their moment. Everybody in the show kind of has their. But it sounds like it would be counterintuitive to expect a duet between the two main characters since they're writing to each other and mm -hmm. don't know each other, or they don't know, the, you know who they're writing to. We've got a couple stills here. This is part of the cast, so it looks like it's set back in the 20s or 30s? Yeah. 30s. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. So do you sing uh, just for yourself? Do you sing duets? Is this the guy that you end up with? No, that's not. <laughs> that's the other couple. Okay. So the other one um, had all of us in it. Um, but there are duets in the show. There are solos in the show. There's a lot of singing. It's definitely a singer's show, okay. which I love. Yeah. And they don't, but they don't. The two leads, Aaron and, mm -hmm. and, and Roger, don't get a duet no. really until um, the end. I mean, mm -hmm. they, have, a, they have a fight duet. Yeah. Sort yeah. Of <laughs> the, <laughs> in the middle of the second act, but oh. it's not until the very, very end that they get to, mm -hmm. that they realize and discover that they are the pen pals and. All right, you've done a good job wetting our whistle. She loves me. We'll be at the Covedale Center for the Performing Arts beginning March 10th until April 3rd. Tickets are $26 for adults, $23 for students and seniors, and you can buy your tickets online or call the box office. Their number is 513-241-6550. Thank you so much for